Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is an Englishman in the Balkans. I'm David Bailey and this channel is all about life in the northwest of Bosnia and Herzegovina. So we look at culture, traditions, food, everything that we experience uh, living here in a village as you can see today. Um, not much going on apart from tractors in the fields um, and the occasional person driving past. So if that's something that you might be considering or something that you might be interested in, please do like, share and subscribe and press that bell button so that you're notifi notified, get my teeth back in, notified uh, every time that we put a new post up. If you're watching this on Facebook, please do like the page and then go to the follow tab and then just click on there and you'll see that it says see post first and if you press that that will appear every time in your very busy um, Facebook feed. Now I did say that um, it's quite quiet here but it's a bit of a porky pie it's a bit of a lie actually. This time of the year in uh, the rural areas of the country there's a lot of work to do this planting, fields to till with tractors, so many things that I'm still learning about after all these years. And we are frustrated at the moment because we have the coronavirus, so the whole country is in lockdown and we are self-isolating. Tractor. Yeah, we're self-isolating. Now, for the people who are in cities and in large towns, that is a real stress because they can't really go out. Pensioners can go out, people over 65 in other words, from um, 7 to 11 on Tuesday and Friday mornings. Apart from that, they cannot go out. And then we have a curfew as well in the evening, uh, every evening uh, from eight until five in the morning. So we are really blessed here with uh, a large property that we can move around. The whole family is here, so we don't have to wear masks. We're all isolated together. Right, today's video is about some of the things that are still happening because you did ask to find out what was happening in the country, everyday life, and Predrag, Tamara's father, has made a cloche. I think that's the name in English, cloche. Something covered to start the tomatoes on. So they're protected from the little uh, snips of uh, frost that we get here um, still uh, early mornings. Having said that, we are up to 23, 24 degrees during the day. He's been making this out of some pallet wood that was lying around, so he's a very, very resourceful guy. Um, designed it himself, quickly knocked it up together. Uh, once he'd done that, then it was off to the neighbor who has a small holding um, to get um, some compost from there, bring it back, put it in, and then together with his wife, Lily, Tam's mum, uh, they've started to plant some tomato and some cabbage seeds which when they're then transferred into the bigger garden they'll grow big and healthy and juicy and chunky and we'll have something really natural to eat um, during the summer. Bosnian people in the rural areas are still so amazingly self-sufficient.
today's vlog. Uh, I think we're calling this, what did Tam say? It's the Corona Diaries or the Stay at Home Diaries and this is edition three. We'll be bringing more vlogs for you uh, in the coming days and weeks. I don't think any of us are gonna go anywhere soon, so you'll have something uh, to see, maybe learn a little bit about this country so that when uh, the travel bans and all these restrictions are lifted, maybe you'd like to come and visit us here in Northwest Bosnia. There's a link um, below the show notes on YouTube and you'll find links as well on our blog, which is an Englishman in the Balkans.com. So please do share, like, and subscribe. If you know people from the Balkans, neighbors, people that might have lived here years ago or people that moved here over the year, uh, moved to your country rather over the years, please do tell them. Uh, the more people that view the channel, the better, I think. Okay, from a very nice warm, Oh, nearly Easter, my Easter. Yeah, nearly an Easter Sunday. Do stay safe wherever you are. Do stay safe at home. Do wear protection. And please get through this coronavirus pandemic as best as you can. See you on the next one.